To construct a code which recognizes and corrects errors means adding exactly the amount of redundancy so that the code words, which are part of the stock of symbols, lie as far as possible apart, without making the string of signs unnecessarily long. A binary code word of the length n can be seen from a mathematical point of view at the corner point of an n-dimensional cube even if this is not conceivable in a spatial sense for n bigger than 3. This leads to concepts such as the Hamming distance which is the importance of the minimal Hamming distance of a code. The Hamming sphere it represents the environment around a certain code word point and the Hamming limit. It indicates how many check bits are necessary to be able to correct a certain number of errors reliably. R. W. Hamming discovered this encoding process in 1950. Alongside Claude Shannon, the true founder of information theory, he is one of the outstanding personalities of this discipline. Individual bit errors can be discovered and corrected by the Hamming code with 100% certainty. If several bits are transmitted or read defectively, this code is of no use. There are however codes which correct errors and make it possible to correct more than one bit on the basis of additional check bits or redundancy. Practically all these codes that correct errors essentially follow the example described. Upstream information is calculated according to a preset pattern and the data are stored. This information is used to recalculate the bits after being read. The check bit pattern makes it possible to locate the site of the error and recognize the original correct value. In error protection encoding Two types of encoding are distinguished, block and convolutional encoding. So far, only codes of a fixed block length have been dealt with. Here the information is transmitted blockwise. In convolutional encoding, on the other hand, the input data, as with digital filters, are spread over several output data in a convolution-like process. The illustration shows the structure of a straightforward convolutional encoder. The input signal, for example a long-lasting digitalized audio signal in the form of a bit pattern is fed bit by bit into a two-step shift register. At the same time the input signal is linked via an addition XOR to the bits of the shift register at the outputs. The state diagram shown in the illustration describes completely the system of rules of the convolutional encoder represented here. The four different states of the shift register state circles are contained in the four circles. A zero or a one may lie at the input of the convolutional encoder, which is why two arrows point away from each state circle. The network diagram is usually called a trellis diagram in literature. The sequence in time is now an additional factor. The four possible states of the shift register are arranged vertically. Every additional bit at the input 
implies a further step to the right. Here we see a trellis diagram for a specific input bit sequence. The state diagram applies to all kinds of input bit pattern sequences and not just to a specific one. On the other hand, the trellis diagram can describe the cause of the state sequence and the output signals for a specific input bit sequence. The above example leads to a specific coded bit sequence at the output. The trellis diagram shows the path for this signal. In decoding, the following problem awaits us. How can this path be reconstructed if the bit sequence of the output signal was distorted at one or several points on the transmission path or by the storage medium? Viterbi decoding provides the answer. Viterbi decoding is carried out to ensure error-free reception of the bit pattern sequence. The state diagram shows that the bit pattern in this sequence cannot have been generated by the convolutional encoder. That means it recognizes immediately that a bit must be wrong in this case. However, as it is not clear which of the two bits must be wrong, both possibilities are investigated. The path diverge. The sum of the correct bits is registered at the trellis points. The efficiency of error correction increases, as can be expected, with the length of the influence of the encoder being used. It is determined by the storage steps of the shift register. The larger these are, the longer the input bit influences its predecessors and successors. The input information is spread more widely and therefore protected more efficiently against individual bit errors.